What's up friends? Welcome back to Kimmy TV Tips and Tricks Living Your Best Life. In this video, we're going to be going over how to reconstitute medications to give to patients. If you guys don't already see it on the screen, I also have a PDF format of the medication that you can open up and look back for reference because I wasn't too sure how to glue it on this um, whiteboard here and as usual don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below how I can improve this if you guys understand and like different advice like that because I'm pretty new to this so yes so in this series we're going to do how to reconstitute medications and I did this a lot when I worked in the jail so it's not that hard but it, the questions could be kind of difficult so if you have any questions don't leave it don't forget to leave it down below okay so first of all what is reconstitution if you missed my previous lesson on how to dilute solution and solutes to get a better understanding of the terms I will be using here I will use it up in the cards above and I will leave in the description box of my previous lesson I did on solution solute solvent but basically in a nutshell the unison 1.5 grams is the solute right so it's a crystalline solute that you get and you're not gonna just obviously you're not going to put crystals inside a human being you're going to use a dilutant and that could be sterile water that could be lidocaine whatever the doctor ordered but usually sterile water you inject the prescribed amount inside of the medication you know and then you prepare it you wait for it to dissolve or you rub it in between your hands and then you draw it up and then you put it um you inject it into the you draw it up in a needle and you inject it into the patient so that is basically what this question is asking you they're testing you to know like if the doctor orders for you for you to give a medication that is diluted will you know will you give the right one do you know what you're doing so we're gonna look at the package insert so the package insert says there is 1.5 grams of unison what am I looking at the 1.5 grams you're gonna see a big blue box that says 1.5 grams and that's how much unison is in that vial okay so the the place that says dilutant to be added is basically the dilutant like the stir water that you're going to add in and the last column that says withdrawal volume is going to be the total volume that you're going to be left with when you insert the dilute in inside. Now, you're not always going to get the withdrawal volume, but that's going to be the next question. And we're going to teach you, I'm going to teach you how to get the total withdrawal volume when you don't have it, okay? Now, the basic conversions that you have to know is that you have to remember that one gram equals a thousand milligrams. So that's very important for you to know, and you're going to know why. So the way I teach, I like to teach um, ratio and proportions I just find it a lot more simple than you know memorizing drug on hand versus divided by drug um, in in the packet whatever that formula is I see I it's really been hard for me to remember so I feel like ratio and proportion is the best way because it's so easy you just match milligram to milligram thousands to x to x you'll see what I mean so when I teach drug calculations I always teach ratio proportion because that's how I learn it and that's how I know it Okay, guys, so the first um, question you're going you're gonna to see is, the order says, at the very top, you're going to see order. The order says unison 1,500 milligrams IV every six hours, okay? So, it says reconstitute with blank milliliters dilutant for a concentration of blank gram per ml, okay? So, if you guys looking at your package insert, you're gonna look at what vial you have. So clearly in blue, it says you have the 1.5 gram vial. So the volume to be added, which is right next to it, it says 3.2 milliliters. So that's what you're gonna write. Since you have the 1.5 gram, you are going to add 3.2 milliliters dilutant to the solution. I'm sorry for the fly, I opened the window. I don't think I can do about it now, but is 3.2 milliliters okay dilutant for concentration of blank gram per ml okay so we already know it's 1.5 grams because that is what the package insert says 
and then when it says per blank ml you're going to use the withdrawal volume as the per ml so the withdrawal value is going to be your per ml so what does it say next to um, volume dilutant to be added it says 4.0 so 4.0 is going to be your milliliter according to the package insert if you have 1.5 grams of unison vial you're gonna have 4.0 ml your of your total volume so that makes sense right because there's 1.5 gram of medication once you add a 3.2 you're gonna have a total of 4.0 that is just basically looking at the package insert and following what they say so it says or blank milligrams per milliliter and the reason why they're asking you this because the order is in milligrams so as you know the order is 1500 milligrams IV every six hours so they're not asking you for the mil the gram they're asking you for the milligrams so that's why they want to know per one ml how much it milligram is in one ml okay so this is how I like to solve it I like to solve it by creating a ratio proportion so I already know that a thousand milligrams is equal to one gram right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out how many grams are in one ml I already know that 1.5 grams is in 4.0 ml I want to know how many grams are in one ml and I'll explain to you why I'm doing that so I'm gonna put 1.5 grams is equal to 4.0 ml and 1.5 grams is equal to 4 ml and I'm gonna put X grams is equal to 1 ml so in ratio proportion all you have to make sure all you have to do is make sure that the grams are lined up with the grams and the milliliters are marked line up with the milliliters whatever your unit is whatever is next to the number has to line up with the unit so see how ml is lined up with ml and gram is lined with gram so now we can do it don't mix this up this part is very important your mls have to be lined up with your mls and your grams has to be lined up with your grams okay so we're going to figure out how many grams are in one ml so we're gonna do cross multiplication now. So we're gonna do 4.0 x is equal to one times 1.5 is obviously 1.5 because anything times one is gonna be that same number. And then we're going to divide. So 4.0 divided by 4.0. We're gonna cross that out, x. So we're going to do 1.5 divided by 4.0. We have our handy dandy calculator here so that we know um, our calculations are 100% correct. So 1.5 divided by 4.0 gives you 0 0.375. So that will be 0. 0.375 okay so now I know grams so now I'm ready to find the milligram and I'm gonna tell you why so if 0 0.375 grams is equal to one milliliter what do we know about milligrams we know that milligrams is equal to we know that one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams so when we're multiplying we move the decimal places to the right when we're dividing we move it to the left so let's take our zero point let's say this is like a separate board so we're gonna take so okay
All right, guys. So now that we now we know that 0 0.375 grams is equal to one milliliter. How did we find that out? Well, we know we already know that 1.5 gram is equal to 4.0 milliliter, and we're trying to figure out how many grams is equal to one milliliter. So we put x grams because this is what we're trying to find is equal to one milliliter. We line the milliliters together. We cross multiply. 4.0 times x is 4.0x is equal to 1 times 1.5 is going to give me 1.5 because anything times 1 is going to give it itself then we're going to divide by 4.0 and the reason why we divide is whichever has the whichever has the letter here which in this the variable which is x is the one that we're going to divide by remember that whichever is next to the letter which is x the variable we're going to divide by so we're going to divide that by 4.0 divide this by 4.0 and then we did this in our calculator x equals to 0 0.375 so there is 0 0.375 grams in one milliliter so now we're going to find how many milligrams are in one milliliter of the solution so we're just going to use this information so guys so i just erased the other part so that it's not confusing for you guys so we know that 0 0.375 grams is equal to one milliliter but what they're asking you they're asking you how many milligrams are in one milliliter now i'm going to show you the easy easier way to do this okay guys so this is how you're going to find this all right especially if you're in a rush remember when we talked about the conversion earlier we said that a thousand milligrams is equal to one gram now something that you want to know a little rule about decimal points if you guys don't remember but um anytime you are multiplying you move the decimal place to the right so you move the decimal places to the right so let's say like this and but anytime you're dividing you move the decimal place to the left so in this in this instance we're multiplying you know why because a thousand milligrams is equal to one gram so this is a gram right so 0 0.375 grams is equal to 1,000 milligrams. So how many zeros are in 1,000? One, two, three. So you're gonna move the, the decimal place three places to the right. So we have one, two, three. We put the decimal place here. So this will now become three, seven, five milligrams in one milliliter. So that will be our answer here. If you guys don't understand this part, just let me know and I will make a follow-up video. But there's 375 milligrams in one milliliter because a thousand milligrams is equal to one gram. And we already have it in grams, so we're gonna be multiplying. So it's gonna be one, two, Three, 375. Remember, there's no such thing as a stupid question. So if you have a question, ask or forever hold your peace. The last set of questions they're going to ask you is give blank ml. So how much are you going to give? So they're basically asking you how much is 1,500 milligrams. So this is how you're going to figure this out. Now, this is going to be so simple. We're going to do ratio proportion again. Remember, if you have a question, if you feel embarrassed, you can also email me or Instagram me or anything. So... What you're going to do is you're going to use your ratio proportion. So if you know 375 milligrams is equal to 1 ml, how much is 1500, which is what you need, the order, milligrams, is equal to X ml, okay? Because that's what they're asking you. They're asking you how many ml can you give? See, give blank ml. So three, so we already figured out that there's 375 milligrams in every one ml. But the order the doctor ordered you, the order that the doctor gave was 1,500 milligrams. So 1,500 milligrams in X ml. So we're going to cross multiply. But first, we're going to make sure everything is lined up. Milligram is lined up with milligram. ML is lined up with ML. So we have 375X is equal to 1,500. We're going to divide that by 375. Oops, sorry guys. And then X would be, so 1500 divided by 375. We're going to use our handy dandy calculator. 
You guys can do the math too if you have one. Four is equal to four ml. Yay. So this is gonna equal to four ml. So that is how much you are going to give. Hope you guys enjoyed this question. Remember, if you have any questions, leave in the comments down below. Email me, Instagram me at TV or TV at gmail.com.